What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with more PCM 2020 and we're heading towards the Tour de France but in this one we have the Tour de Suisse. So you can see by the planner I am actually finishing off the, the Dauphiné. I have one more stage of that to play as well but um, I'll sync it up so the Swiss comes after that final stage in the next episode. You can see our team for the race here as well and looking at the race as a whole eight stages today we have two time trials as well in switzerland we have some flatter ones a few hills there then we hit the big big mountains i mean look at that average of over 10 percent big big climbs in this race it should be a very fun one so we bring kemna to bury chicone and brenner for very strong mountain riders to switzerland we also bring stefan Biska. Alessandro Covey and Patrick Gamper. Uno X get the TT underway then with Rodenberg right here. A day naturally riding for them here. But looking at the full start list, we have Remco, Carapaz, Sagan, Nibali is here as well. Uh, but to me, it does seem at least at first that Carapaz and Remco are the big favourites for the GC. A few of our guys have got underway. I'm going to cut out most of the time trial. They're not the most exciting part of PCM as we know. But Brenner making some good progression in his Neo Pro season for us. And he's looking very good in this TT as well. So let's just see where young Marco Brenner does go across the line here today. Eight seconds down, not too bad. Oh, but here we go. We have a genuine chance right here of winning this time trial with Stefan Biska, a plus four day, and that is 84 prologue. Boy, oh boy. So I've tried to go pretty much 87 the entire way. With Biska, maybe a little too hard though. Even for this plus four day, we're going to try to go 85 to the line. Biska, we do take the provisional best time. I'm actually surprised. I I hardly ever win time trials. Cannot quite believe that. Can you believe it? <laughs> really hoping that utterly annoying time by Barca will not matter because Ghana seemingly is going to win the TT anyhow. But Kemna. Also on a good day. And as we come towards the Flamme Rouge, this is the first time we have seen the Giro d'Italia winner in action since uh, since he did win the Giro. Of course, Kemna uh, didn't quite use all his energy, but only 11 seconds down, left a little bit of time on the table though. So final two riders to cross the line. Richard Carapaz, where does he go today? 26 seconds, uh, so we do gain time on the Ecuadorian. But Avenapool, can he take the stage win? No, he can't. Ghana win stage one. Honestly, can't believe we lost that time trial. I thought we had it with Biska, especially when Barta beat me, the rider, straight after Biska after saying I never win TTs. But anyhow, we don't care. Kemna gets off to a good start at least. So we get some very nice race days in this one. Kovi, Chicone plus fours, but I think Biska probably will be sprinting for this one in the young rider's jersey right there. And hopefully, we can maybe drop some of the pure sprinters on these climbs. So we have 19k to go. I'm pretty certain this is going to be a full mass sprint. We haven't been able to drop anyone on the climb so far and pretty much no climbing left. So we race into the final 6k. Damar, probably the favourite today, but we also have Sam Bennett here for Astana, of course. Let's use our final gels. Now 5k to go. Gamper up to 99. Brenner is in the lead out today, but Kovi is going to be Biscuit's main lead out man he looks just fantastic today it has to be said Gamper is done Brenner Marco Brenner on the front the little climber really but he does have a good flat rating to be fair to him now 2k to go Stefan Kung is opening it up we're gonna try and go right now with Alessandro Covey and Bissiger into the final kilometer we'll try and stay on his wheel go right now all our guys sprinting Bissiger going for the line but Sam Bennett will take it good effort today to be fair we will get a top three with Biska. Kovi, what a lead out. Sam Bennett, too strong. However, we do move into the leader's jersey with Biska. Great stuff due to our great time trial. I think that's two third place in a row for Biska. Here he is then, the man, the myth, in the leader's jersey of the Tour de Swiss. Let's try and maybe even challenge for the stage again today. He's on a great day. So Gamper has been doing some work on the front right now, and Tiberi is now going to come to the front and try and absolutely hammer this climb. I did it on the climb before as well, just trying to see 
if we can maybe drop some of the sprinters. Didn't really happen, but again, we're going to try and really push it on the Sonnenberg climb. We have two climbs here before the finish to Bury. Really trying to hammer the tempo right now. Here we go. Pascal Ackerman is out the back for Bora Hansgrohe. And I'm sure we'll have quite a few guys struggling. Trenton is dropping for some reason for Team, Spot uh, Team Spotify. We have 6k to go. Let's relay on the front right now. Because Vlasov and Gagan Hartz are on the attack. A surprise move for sure. We can use our jails. Covey putting Biska in the perfect position. I hope now 3k to go. Brenner is there. We'll get in his wheel briefly if we can. Two and a half. K to go. Still Damar. Still John Dainkolb. They're all here. Um, all the big sprinters really. Bar Pascal Ackerman. But coming into the final. Kolomisa Biska going for the line. Can he challenge for the win today? Biska versus John Dainkolb. And the German gets us today. Three podiums, but not yet a win for Bisca. Well, that's a slight change, isn't it? Pretty much all minus days right now. I can't see Bisca challenging for this one, sadly. But we have opened up a decent lead now in the overall. So again, then, we will have a mass sprint. No chance for the early breakaway. Let's use our jails. We have 5k to go. Little downhill section. Want to try and get us to the front. Another top three will be really nice with Bisca again to open up our overall lead. But he cannot seem to get... To Covey's wheel right now. Come on, Stefan. We have two and a half k to go. The guys are opening it up, and they are so much stronger than us today. It's unreal, to be fair. Yeah, we have we have no chance. We have absolutely no chance in this sprint of doing anything up the roads. Nizolo is coming. Dagen Gold late though, and the German gets his second win of the race. And to be fair, we did manage the top five just. Just beating Sagan. Underway we go then. And I've gone for a little walk since the last stage. We are back now. And it's time for the fun to begin. Because we have the big mountain stages up next. I may try and go in the breakaway with someone. But Kemna, disappointingly, on a bad day. The tempo to start this stage is just unreal. Look at our guys' energy. And we have just plenty of riders that have been dropped already. Onto the first climb then, and the tempo just continues. It's Andre Amador on the front right now. Brandon McNulty among the guys who have attacked early on. So finally, we crest the first climb. 82 riders are all that remain in this group as Castro is actually up the road. We still have Biska in the front group for now. Oh, but a big moment because Mikhail Lander has fallen in the descent. We have Bardet, Remco Evenepoel, Martinez, Bookman, Pino, Chavez, Kelderman, McCarthy, they've all fallen right now. And this could be a quick tempo set by Yumbo Visma, who still have all their guys. Sepp Kuss, De Moulin, they're still here. And you know what? Those guys are really going to struggle to get back in. This is their group right here. You can see Evnapool, Pino right here. But the tempo in the front group is just absurd right now. Taking a look behind then, Hugh Carthy has been dropped. We have Pino. Evnapool, Barze, Lander, Bookman, Martinez. They're trying to bridge themselves now without any support. We need to try and get right to the front of this group, which is coming apart at the front. Let's try and move up right here. Okay, so it's madness because Tiberi has been dropped and Brenner has fallen. Oh my words, our guys were all following Marco Brenner who falls in the descent. We now have Chicone and Kemna. I'm not sure which one of these guys to go for, to be honest. And we're just out the back. We need to get back in right now. We'll try and get back in with Chicone, I believe, despite him being on a plus two. And there you go. Chicone has done just some fantastic work in this descent, getting both himself and Kemna back to the front group. We dropped the guys who were in the group with us as well, showing how strong that was. Kemna just push in. And there you are. We are back in the main peloton. 17 riders here. I'm not doing any pulling, that is for sure. Um, and where is Remco and Lander? They are pushing right now to try and bridge this gap. So this is the current gap. I think they're just about to close it as we enter the foot of the final climb. And there you go. They're just bridging it. There you go. Um, the groups do now join back together. Kemna is on the front for us. Let's try and get to Bury there if we can so he can work with himself and Chicone. Richard Carapaz on an early move for Ineos though and Tiberi just struggling so much to get to the front right here. We'll rely though on Jumbo Visma for now. But we will be able to get Tiberi to this group. So there we go. He is now to the front. He can tempo at 85. And Richard Carapaz is so far up the road. He has a minute's lead already. As Sepkus 
is now making his move as well. We still have 37 in this group though, so I think it's pretty sensible just to say, uh, stay patient for now. There we go, Saburi is now done for the day. We have 5k to go. And you may see, Chikone is probably our leader today. He's just feeling much stronger than Kemna. I'll try and keep Kemna here, if that's possible. I'm not sure it will be, though. Oh, and here we go. Adam Yates is looking to make a move, is he? Let's try and get to the front of this group. And there you go. We have an attack. Miguel Angel Lopez moving up. And Carapaz and Kuss are now caught. And they've spent a lot of energy. 3k to go. 23 riders. 21 now in this group. And this section is so, so steep. We're struggling to stay with Yates and Lopez at the front. We literally cannot stay with them and the finish is just so steep. We're going to have to slow it down. Barde has cracked. Remco has cracked. A pre-race favourite for sure is gone right there because um, I guess of that chasing back in. Eight riders now here. Masnada, O'Connor are done. Lenny Kemner is also done. The Giro champ not getting back to his best form in the mountains but Giulio Giacone is looking pretty good to be fair let's take the wheel of Richard Carapaz Lopez trying to hold on Hindley is done Giacone is not going to be able to take the stage win but it's a fairly strong performance Miguel Angel Lopez wins stage five of the Tour de Suisse Yates will be second Jai Hindley not sure what happened there but he looks pretty strong to come back into a podium position Giacone will stay here with Kemner losing big time with Gagan Hearts in the end then, it does seem Chicone only loses 11 seconds to Lopez, but Kemner over a minute. So Chicone probably is now our leader. He's sixth, whilst Kemner is seventh in the GC. Lopez into the lead of the race. So the second mountain stage of the race, Chicone gets another nice plus two day. I'm going to try and get in the breakaway with Stefan Biska. Some way though to bridge this gap and really... I did want those sprint points. Doesn't seem it's going to happen, sadly. Oh, and look at that. They sit up literally as they cross the line. We're going to close it literally a kilometre after the sprints. So we enter the clouds and pass then. 25 kilometres in length. 6%. It's a massive, massive climb. We'll keep our guys in the group in Biska. You can see him right there. Not too far up the roads. To the top of the climb then. It has been a massive tempo. Mikau Landa has been setting the rhythm and you can see Kemna and Chikone, the only riders really left for us as Taburi and now Brenner out the back over the top. But now we race onto the Amden climb. It is so steep, average of 8.5%. Brenner and Taburi did manage to get back on in that descent, luckily for us. So 55 riders enter this climb at the front of the race and no real tempo for now. Gagan Hart actually going for an early move for the Ineos Grenadiers and Lopez feels the need to react to that straight away. Don't mind them going off the front this early, to be honest. And look at these guys. They're struggling so much to hold this lead. And Mitchell and Scott have like four riders still in this group. Tiberi is about to go out the back right now. And to be honest, Kemner is feeling a lot stronger than Giacone today. So Brenner can protect him instead. Let's go like this. Try and get to the front of this group. So Remco is now taking it up himself on the front. Gegenhart Lopez still holds a lead right here. Let's go in. A little bit like that. Kemner trying to move Chikone to the front right now as Brenner is done for the day. We have two and a half K to go. We've got plenty of energy and Remco is just riding everyone else off his wheel right here. Carapaz cannot hold it. We're trying to get there as well. 1.8 K to go. Let's go up to 92. Try and find some space on the left hand side of the roads right here. Zooming in. Seeing the action. Evenepoel looks so strong. Lopez has he cracked? Has he gone too early? And now Remco starting to struggle a little bit. Kemner is moving up with Giacone. And Giacone is going to crack before Kemner. It's not ideal at all. Needed a stronger day by Julio today. But I think Lopez, will he hold on? Don't think so. Adam Yates versus Lopez. I think Adam Yates will take the stage win ahead of Lopez. Kemner, a strong performance. And Chicone just behind. We needed it the other way around, really. Kemner stronger than Chicone today. It's not really working having these dual leaders because we're not really capitalizing on the other's strength at the moment. If we take a look at the GC, fifth and sixth up one position. We want to finish on the podium here. And we're over a minute away right now. Hinley, Yates with Lopez still leading. And I think this may just help us do that because Chicone gets a plus three day. He's clearly in really, really good form. Um, I do want to try and go in the breakaway with Antonio Tiberi. Let's try and follow Thomas de Gent right here, who is attacking 
up the road. There we go. Try and get to Bury in the break. Maybe Marco Brenner as well. Let's see. And that is exactly what we've been able to do. Kelderman is up in the breakaway. We also have to Bury, Shampoo San. We have Conchi and Marco Brenner here for us as well. Simon Yates trying to join the breakaway as well. This could be a pretty sizable group in the end. So these guys are all attacking for the KOM. I'm not really at all interested in that with Tabury or Marco Brenner. So they can sit up right there. We're just trying to help out our leaders later on in the race with this move. So the Koenig Quickstep are leading us into the final climb today. 15k to go and the final climb is very, very steep. Average of 10% gradient. We still have three minutes though up in the breakaway. So perhaps... A stage win from the break could be on the cards. So we're in the peloton. Chicone being protected by Alessandro Covey. Kemna on the wheel just staying to the front of this group for now. We still have three minutes up in the breakaway with 8k to go. And Brenner is our man to try and go for the stage win. So Burry can also drop back to help out Chicone or Kemna if we need him to. So Covey is done for the day. We still have a pretty big group in Kemna isn't even struggling too much you know up in the breakaway we're seeing moves we're going to try and keep a steady rhythm with Brenner into the final 5k but we need to bury to drop back right now to help out our leaders and here we go there you are he can protect Julio Ciccone up to 80 with Julio not quite sure what to do because Kemna is feeling exactly the same as Julio Ciccone and look at these guys up the road really attacking away from Brenner. Let's try and work with Kelderman if he wants to. And now in the peloton, we're seeing a pretty quick rhythm. And you know what? I'm going to try something here. Lenny Kamner is going to try and go on the attack right now with three and a half K to go. Can we not get blocked by the Spotify man? Not really. And we're still in this group. So let's sit up with him. That didn't work at all right there. He can protect Chikone right now after spending that energy. And up the road, Shampoo San and this Lithuanian man are doing so, so well. Well ahead of everyone, but Avenipool and Yates have now attacked from the main group. We're going to sit up. This isn't our job to chase. I cannot even chase it. Um, let's leave this to Lopez. So we're sat here right now. Not quite sure what to do. Avenipool and Yates are riding up the road. Um, and you know what? Let's go like this instead. Chicone can try. Actually, no, we don't have enough energy to attack. I was going to say, let's try and bridge to Marco Brenner, but we just don't really have the energy for it, I'm afraid. Let's try and protect him, though. If we can, Chicone trying to gain some time in the GC as Kemner cracks. Lopez has cracked as well for the first real time in the race. Let's try and drag Chicone to the line with Brenner if we can. And we're just about going to do that, gaining a little time, to be fair, on most of our GC rivals. Um, but Remco, really strong today. And look at this. Joy Hinley, who is third in the GC, has completely cracked. He is going well down in the overall. Those two guys from the breakaway, it's Povil Povilatus, I'm going to go with, from Team Spotify. He is a new gen, 79 mountain, 68 hill. <laughs> Very strange attributes there, but Shampoo San and him were just so, so much stronger than everyone else. Remco and Carthy, though, were strong from the GC guys. So is Adam Yates, and that does mean he is now into the lead of the race overall. Um, and we did see the collapse of Jai Hindley, of course, today, which means Chikone into the podium position. So we do have Rundum Koln, which is, I think, around Cologne, it, it translates as, but we do have a sprint today, and we also don't really have anyone lined up to do the race who's going to do anything. So I'll probably cut this out of the video if it's not very enjoyable. If you're watching it, maybe this race is gonna be quite fun. So we have six K to go in the race. We're trying to put the pressure on the other guys, and yes, you are seeing correctly, Simon Pello could well be sprinting for us today. But instead, I think we can maybe try and do this into the final kilometre. Let's go like this. And Mara Schmidt is going to try a little move off the front. And Pello is going to try and follow any guys trying to attack him right now. 2k to go. Can they catch Mara Schmidt going into the final 2k with a lead right here? Oh, and look at this. They're hesitating. It's looking pretty good for Maro into the final kilometre. And Maro Schmid, please don't tell me I've done it. Please don't tell me I've done it. Yes, he does get the win in Cologne. Just about really brave celebration, but it pays off today. So we're now into the final stage, the final time trial, 16 kilometres. Can Chikone hold that podium position? Going to be very difficult with Remco. 35 seconds down, I think. 
the odds are in Remco's favour. We'll see how we do though later on and see if maybe someone like uh, Kovi or Biska can surprise as well. We do it every episode. It's gonna watch in the TT. How much is he going to win by? on this occasion 27 seconds is his current margin okay so Chikone and Kemna are on course both on very nice plus days which makes a change it seems that they're both on good days but Kemna two minutes down he has a decent gap to Teo Gegenhart so we should be fine there we're not going to catch Remco we may catch Carapaz if, uh, if he's on a really bad day as he goes 31st at the first split but Chikone to Evanapool is the cap I am worried about. Let's see how far down he is. 36 seconds down at the first split. And Remco just happens to be first. So this is going to be very difficult. I think we've lost our podium position. But Lopez as well, not in the best time. So Jai Henley, not in a good time. Tail in a decent time. And so is Lenny Kemner. But you can see how close Remco Evanapool is behind him. He's going to win the TT today. I'm pretty sure of that. Let's try and rest up a little now with Kemna but how far is Carapaz Pines could Remco win the race in this TT that would be unreal as Kemna now into the final kilometer let's watch him home spent a little too much energy I do believe Remco isn't quite going to catch him it's a respectable time by Kemna today as we take a look 20 seconds Remco takes the best time and Giacone needs to sit up he is 1 minute and 20 down and I think Remco could well be on the podium for sure now as Carapaz is going to come across the line. How far down will he be today again? Went a little hard on the climb with Chikone. 1 minute 16 for Carapaz. So Kemner is no way going to close that gap. Chikone has collapsed into the final kilometre and it's painful. Painful time trial for Chikone as always. 2 minutes and 7 down. And I'm wondering, can Remco overtake Lopez even it's going to be pretty close, you know, but I think Adam Yates will have enough to win the Tour de Suisse. There we go then, guys. The Tour de Suisse is in the books. And to me, this was a really enjoyable race, I must say. Evanapool came into the race, I think it was stage five, where he lost a heap of time. And that's what cost him the race after falling. Unfortunate, um, but it cost him the GC in the end. We get a top five and a top six with Kemner and Chikone. Chikone's TT just means he can't ride GC, sadly, in any race where there's a time trial. Bit of a shame there, and Kemner wasn't quite on form after winning the Giro d'Italia, which, I'll remind you, we won the Giro d'Italia. The next one, though, is the National Championships. Let's see how many jerseys we can get in that one. I think we have about 10 to win in total, so should be a fun one. Anyhow, guys, if you enjoyed today, smash that like button. As always, remember to hit subscribe down below as well if you're new to the channel and like what you see. I will see you guys in the next one.